Hey, what's going on everybody? Sajun F1 here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to disable mouse acceleration in Fortnite. So by default, there is a little mouse acceleration in Fortnite, I have no idea why, why there's not an option to turn it off or why it's in there to begin with. It's never good in an FPS game. Um, if you don't know, mouse acceleration is, if you move your mouse cursor, the faster you move it, like physically move your mouse, the cursor will travel further than if you just kind of like went right here. So it's like, it's a less linear experience. So this right here and then trying to flick right there, it's actually the cursor travels a little further. Not good in FPS games, usually always turn off, pretty much gaming in general. So I'm gonna show you how to disable that. Before we actually disable it, it in Fortnite, I'm gonna make sure that if you don't know, you know how to actually disable it on the computer in general. So first, you just type in mouse, go to your mouse settings. Um, there's Windows, this is Windows 10, there's other ways to do it depending on what you're rocking. Um, but just go to your mouse settings, you'll see it. It's usually an additional mouse options or something in your mouse options. When you go to pointer options right here, you'll see this enhanced pointer precision. Make sure that's unchecked. And uh, also just make sure that this is always in the middle and use your DPI scale to, to scale your uh, mouse sensitivity rather than this right here. So that's at the sixth tick out of, I think there's like 11 or so, but put that in like six. So that's disabling it on your computer. Now you wanna make sure whatever software you have, I have a Razer right now. So I uh, make sure whatever program you have, make sure that you're rocking a zero acceleration within that as well. And then from there, we can now move on to disabling it in Fortnite. Now, go to your taskbar, type in run, that'll pull up right here a desktop app called run command. If you don't know, it seems like this is a desktop app, maybe you can just download that. Um, if not as well, <laughs> because we're gonna go to the app data photo um, file right here, just look up, just literally Google how to access app data if you do not have any of the any things that I'm doing right now. Because when I did my stretch res video, people did not ha have this um, command. So this is trying to help you out. So type in percentage app data percentage. Type in okay. That's gonna pull this up. Next step right here is to go to app data. You're gonna go back, you see this right here, go back to app data, go to local. Now look for your Fortnite game, you might have to scroll. Fortnite game, saved, going to config, Windows client, and now we're here where we need to be. Go, you're gonna go to game user settings. One of the things you wanna make sure, is you gotta right click it, go to properties, and you're going to make sure that it, um, you have to uncheck read only if you have it checked. Uncheck it, apply, hit okay, go back to game user settings, now you can click it, it opens up the thing, now you can make some adjustments. The one, the only thing you're gonna change here is right here. It says disable mouse acceleration. Yours will say false. Yours is gonna look like this. And it's, for whatever reason, that's default. And it's gonna, and that's not gonna disable your mouse acceleration. You want that to be true. You literally just highlight that and only that hit true. And then you can go file, save it. Now here's then a very important part. By default, if you start up your program and you start up um, Fortnite, it's going to put it back to false. So what you have to do to stop that is once you exit the file and you save, you, you change the name and you saved it, right click again, go to properties, go back to read only and apply it again. Now, now when you start up Fortnite, it won't go ahead and unbite and go the default and change that little setting when you load it up. By putting that read only, it won't change the file. And then I just like to go double check, make sure everything's good, yeah, right there. And it says it's reading true, I saved it, it looks good. And double checking that I have my read only, check, yep, we're good. And there you have it, it's easy as that. Now you're done, you're good. The mouse acceleration is disabled on your computer in Fortnite and you're good to go. I hope that helped you out, hope you enjoyed the video, hope short, sweet, got to the point, and uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, take care. And also, if you felt the need, I do have support creator, and if you wanted to help me out, it would be much appreciated. It's just my name, Soldier in F1. That's it. Thank you guys, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.